check on my stats. See if people are giving me some yeahs. Apparently that was just, like, a thing on Miiverse back on the Wii U days. That I was not a part of. So yeah, you can press Y to yeah or Y to un -yeah. I love and hate that word, on yeah. It's like you're you're just too you're too big of a pansy to give us a proper like like and dislike. Let's see what's oh god no. <laughs> Logos galore. Why? I don't know why. That's a very good question. Let's see if we can answer. Why? I'm so glad you could just test these and play around with them without even having to download the thing. What's this, like a banana? Well, it's, uh, something, isn't it? With, like, that weird-ass... <laughs> There's just a rubber block wedged into the geometry. So, apparently this was a I-don't-give-a-fuck kind of level. Fine. We don't need to pay it more attention than it deserves. Bloodstained. I was just watching some stuff about this earlier. Uh, oh, this is like the final boss. Like when he when he summons like spears. Ah, uh, this is this is cool. I love all these like clever references you can slip into your stage. Unfortunately, this has no moving parts. It would be cool if it did. And they could have tried to provide a bit of, you know, artwork in the background of uh, Gilgamesh or whatever the final boss's name is, I forget. Castlevania music with a Castlevania background, like, make no mistake, that's just a moon, but that's clearly like a shout out to Castlevania right there. Also, now that I'm playing this in docked mode instead of handheld mode, I can see just how horribly compressed the background uh, images are. Like, who let this happen? Is it any better if I, like, move the... No. No, the... Oh my god, you can, like, zoom in and see all the compression. Why did I just take a screenshot? I don't want to keep a screenshot of this. Look at that! That's like early 2000s level of image compression. Who let this happen? This better be fixed. Like, soon. Because this is just butt ugly to look at. I'm going to try not to pay too much attention to that. Let's see. Anything else? Just, uh... SF-esque. What in the world is this? Like, Star Fox or Street Fighter? Or Shadow Moses? No, wait. Uh, by the way, if anyone's in the chat right now and happens to own Smash Brothers Ultimate, uh, you're welcome to, like, send me some codes. Show me what you've made. Or even, uh, like, send me a friend request and we can, like, play a bit of Smash together before I move on to Blaster Master Zero. Okay. This is just a flat stage, okay? This is nothing. There's some speed, Luigi. Oh yeah, I guess I could, like, search for some words. Let's see here. You know something? I... <clears throat> All right. Is there something special about this one, or is it just pixel art? Looks like it's just pixel art. That is kind of a... That's like a really scary Sans in the background there. Like, I don't like how warbly and uneven he is. I don't understand the purpose of the block, but that's okay. The... these, uh, these are... Okay, no, that that's, that's just art. The really... Okay, this ought to be good. The really impressive stages are the ones that actually take advantage of the new, like, gimmicks and mechanics that we've been given. You know, using rotations and paths well, using some of the new uh, tools. 
Like here, you see, we have suction and cannons. Honestly, this is a really clever little stage. I like it. I also like how Kirby is like the muncher from, uh, what's the name of that game? Uh, Renman? Was that the name? Hang on a minute, I need to check this real quick. Was it Run Man? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Run Man Race Around the World? No, it wasn't that one. It was... Run Man's Monster Fracas. That's what Kirby reminds me of right now. In which uh, a little, like, starfy-looking thing called Run Man uh, is constantly on the run from a giant munchy thing that just never stops chasing him. It's randomly generated. And it's fun. You just go for a high score. It's really fun. Uh, this could use a bit more polish, but I really like the idea of this, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a yeah. The Sook Curb. <laughs> Made by Waffle. That's, that's, a, that's clever. I like that one. Let's see what else we got here. Death from Upwards. I have been thinking of making a stage like this, but it's probably a really bad idea. Let's see just how bad. Uh, pachinko levels also probably would be a pretty clever idea. I should search for that term. Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> whoa, 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 what's that one doing? Hey, Mario. Hey, Mario! I can't get you if you hide down there. Okay, yeah, stages like these are a bad idea. You can't just pile trash into an arena and call it a, call it a day. But that was pretty funny. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and start searching for uh, keywords. All right, let's see here. Trophy. Oh yeah, that was the last thing I searched for. Uh, I wanted to see if anyone had any good recreations of the trophy tussle stages from Super Smash Brothers Melee. Uh, some people instead were going for the bonus stage. Uh, where you collect trophy, yeah, snag trophies. But a really well-made Goomba is what I wanted. Uh, this one comes close, but there's a problem. If this is the same one I'm thinking of. Like, I, I, I ran into one the other day that was a really well-drawn Goomba, but you could only play on its mouth. The rest of it was, uh... Background. Alright, this one's close. Uh, the shoe is unnecessary, but you know what? It does have make a good feeling of death. You know what? You know what? This might be good enough. Until I find a better one, this one will do. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and save that one. Again, if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to send me a code in the chat. I will be happy to look it up. Alright, let us now search for Pachinko. Because I got a feeling that's a... Someone can make a really clever stage out of that kind of idea. It doesn't have to be from Super Mario Sunshine, even though I know that's going to show up. That one just, does, just says win. Uh, this looks complex. What could this be about? Made by Citrus. The Jump Masters. What? Oh, that's the number of jumps they can do. Interesting. Whoa! Shit! <laughs> I should have seen that coming, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, I wasn't expecting them to be... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God! It's bouncy. It's bouncy. The geometry is bouncing. Wow. This is a lot more chaotic than I was expecting. You can't fight on this. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is This is too much. This is too much chaos. I, I can't even... I probably can't even make it to the other side without getting hurt. I, uh, nope. I... Whoa, whoa. Almost got clobbered. Okay, no, you... Th this is this is not possible. It's not possible to get from one end to the other. I'm gonna try again. I, I feel like I need to undergo this challenge. Hey, Mario! Come down here! Oh god, the computer player isn't going to be able to survive. 
Oh, oh, God. This is hell. This is hell. This is hell in a handbasket. This is so horrible. But you know what? I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a yeah. You made a Destiny 2 map based on the first mission. You're very proud of it. Uh, interesting. That's not an idea I would have ever come up with, but hey, let's, uh, let's see if it pops up. With the search word, uh, destiny. Um... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the hell is this? What is this? <laughs> That's not what I expected to see. Oh, God. I got some interesting things going on here. Let's see if there's anything particularly standout-ish. Destiny Islands keeps showing up. I don't know exactly what that is. Is that like a Kingdom Hearts thing? Because I see this little logo here. Manifest Destiny. And it's a giant Waluigi. What in the world is this? Is this thing gonna move? Is he going to try to ingest us or something? Us. <laughs> As if we're all playing this together. Oh. <laughs> there's no, there's nothing here that's that should be funny, but for some reason, <laughs> with the music too, I don't know. Something about this stage just gets to me. All right, Mario, down in the gullet you go. Come on. In you go. So is that Persona music? It sounds like it. Oh my god, I, I can't get him in there. We need, like, some wind in order to make Waluigi, like, suck people in. That's something I want to see more of. Like, using the wind to make, like, giant hungry mouths. Alright, yeah, th this, this song feels really familiar. Aria of the Soul. Ah, uh, that might be Castlevania? I don't know. Anyway, I don't think we found what this guy was talking about, so let's just go ahead and put in a keyboard. I don't remember what that one is. I might have gotten that, like, from a Vine Sauce stream or something. Uh, G-Pole MQ5C. Alright, let's see if this brings up anything. Ah, Homecoming Tower. Now, granted, I've never played Destiny 2, so this is probably not going to make any sense to me. But if you put effort into it, I will probably appreciate it. Ooh. I see something moving here. Oh, it's a big old ship. And flags. Oh, this is neat. I don't know what that thing in the background is. It looks like Zero Two from Kirby uh, and the Amazing Mirror. No, that's the wrong game, but it's fine. What was that, like shiny effect that I just saw. Good choice of music. Oh, I was hoping I could, like, write on that thing. Well, if you're open to criticism, uh, one thing that you can do to make this slightly more interesting is to put just a thin little, like, pass-through platform on top of the rocket ship so you have something that kind of moves back and forth. But yeah, I like this one. There you go. <laughs> let's see here. Is there any other keyword I want to search before we go back to something else? Uh, let's try Sonic. Let's see if there's any good stages out there based on the Sonic series. Aside from the one that I made, I'll show that in a minute. See if anyone had the same idea as me. Okay, okay. These don't count! What's with these shapes? It's just random shapes with the word Sonic. SA2. Is this a meme or something that I was unaware of? It seems that's all. Oh, hang on a minute. Custom stage. Avoid anything that just says custom stage. Like, that's clearly something that no one put any effort into. Uh, Qbert, 
I get the idea. Don't really see it executed all at all well. Woolly World. Uh, wait, don't we already have Woolly World in this game? Enjoyment. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Master Emerald! It's just a big old triangle. It might as well be the Triforce of Courage from the Legend of Zelda TV show. And there's no there's no geometry here. It's just a it's just a flat plane with a drawing. Uh I shouldn't I shouldn't make too much fun. Whoever the kid who created this might just be like a seven year old or something. He just really likes... No, wait a minute. No, that wouldn't make sense. Why would, like, a seven-year-old kid even know about, like, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles? Nah, I refuse to believe that that was made by a child. That's just someone who just decided to share their creation with the world without much effort to it. Oh, that's, a, that's cool. I like that. Look at this. Using a bit of depth. Could use a bit more depth in these uh, custom stages. Although I get the feeling there's not all that much to this one. Yeah, it's just pretty scenery. That's fine and all. But I'm looking for stages that are actually, like, interesting to fight on. I haven't seen all that much, uh... Particularly... Inventive when it comes to, like, the new mechanics. And the, this, this search, this search keyword, like, brought up nothing. Let's try something different. Uh, b -b -b Mario's too easy. Let's try... Oh, I don't know. I'm looking at my keyboard and mouse. Uh, let's look at mouse and see if there's, like, something based off of a, like, dining room kitchen or something. Or, like, an actual rat. Ah, uh, Mickey Mouse. I should have known. Ricky Rack Ruined Shack. Dessert land. Oh, that one looks kind of interesting. Let's give this one a look. I should be trying to, while I'm doing this, I should be trying to find, like, new ideas. Whoa, of course. Uh, new ideas for what to make into a stage. But, uh, I had a really long day today, and I'm not feeling terribly creative. Chocolate dip strawberry, alright, cool. Cherry, of course, also hurts. This is, like, discouraging me from becoming a fruititarian. Oh, and we're sitting on a big old slice of key lime pie, now I see what that is. Very clever. Not very fun to fight on, though. Whoa, what? I didn't download that by accident, did I? I just kind of fumbled with the controller. Well, that's interesting. I, I didn't know that bit about Master Hand's iron balls. Thanks for telling me, tips and tricks. Okay, okay. Uh, this was a bad keyword to search for. Sometimes you end up regretting what you search for. Because it, like, has deep relations to something that you didn't... That you weren't aware of. Let, let me see here. Uh, New York City. Let's see if that brings up anything cool. God damn it! No! No! <laughs> What'd I just say? I just wanted, like, a good, like, urban environment to fight in, but no. No, we have to bring up 9-11 again. God damn it. How did I not see that coming? Okay, uh, psh. Mario is a bit too generic, but maybe... Nah, Luigi's just gonna bring up a bunch of, like, Waluigi meme stages. Because it contains the word Luigi. Uh, Speed Luigi as well, we would probably get a lot of, so... One more search. Uh, let's try and think of something clever here. Hmm... I could search for, like, an older stage, or I could just do a bit of, like, word association and see what... You know what? You know what? Nah. For, for our last huzzah, let's just, uh, look at what's here. Search by date. We're probably gonna get something horrible. 
Or something good. This could be good. I've seen a number of Comet Observatory stages, and a lot of them really do not look good. But wow, this one is actually kind of good. Look at that. They even made the little, like, uh, trim on the on the top part. A little gold trim. Oh, and these are, like, all the little stations that you go to. I forget what they're called. It's been a long time since I played Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, and they got a little, like, platform under here. That's nice. Alright, that's the platform that Mario lands on. Yeah, this one's alright. I'll give this one a like. Nothing too exciting, but it's one of the better looking Comet Observatories that I've seen so far. Torture. <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna try that one. Ooh! Ooh, this one looks spicy! Let's see what this one's all about. Just a big, big old Wario. Is he gonna try to eat me? Yep, that's exactly what I was looking for. Nice! It's got a warp zone in there, so when you get sucked in... Ooh, you're done for. That's... That's amazing! I love this! I love this so much. So if you get launched over to the right, you're pretty much done. Oh, and he's got the, like, arms. Oh, and there's, like, a wind current on top of him, too. So that he can't be all cheeky and just, like, hide out on top of him. Well, not, not that he could anyway, because his entire face is lined with lava. God, this is a good one. I'm, I'm glad I found this one. And it doesn't have a single like yet. I guess it's because it was just added. But yeah, this one's good. Okay, Mario. Mario. Please. Alright, I, I need to see how this works with, like, CPUs. This is good. I'm gonna like and save that one. It's amazing. I have no idea what it says, by the way. I'm just going to assume it says Wario and then some kind of guttural eating noise. Ooh, this one looks kind of cool. Why don't we have Phoenix right yet? Like, didn't they make a stage for him in one of the Marvel vs. Capcom games? Like, if they could make him work there, they can make him work here. Well, yes. Yeah, so... Whoa! Whoa! I thought that was the other Mario. They must have searched long and hard to find something that was even remotely similar sounding to the Ace Attorney soundtrack. Yigiri! Interesting, but uh, not not too exciting to play on. Sky World Tournament of Oh, this one looks like it might be interesting. You know what? That's something I should have searched for. A good Dragon Ball stage. I tried to make one that was very simple. The whole the whole gimmick, of course, was, uh, you know, being able to fight in midair with a constant wind current. Okay. Nah, this one's not all that good. Toad Factory, Emoticon, Twitter, Charmander, Rathalos. Oh, it's like a pixel Rathalos. That's cute. A house. This one looks simple yet charming. Let's check this one out. This is kind of fun just going through the community and seeing what they made. Okay, yeah, don't do that. Oh, hey, it's the spring. I actually have not tried this yet. Uh, apparently, the springs work a little bit differently from Smash Brothers Brawl. You can actually press jump on them like you would in a Mario game. Uh-oh. Actually. Yes. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Look at me go! Ah, oh, that's fun. That's fun. Uh, there's like two layers to the house, too. This is cool. I like this one. Ladders are a bit finicky. Can you just jump off of a ladder? 
Oh yeah, you can. Okay, that makes it a little bit simpler. But it's not very intuitive. Oh boy, I bet my friends are gonna have a lot of fun with the new springs. Like, that was the one level they always made me play on, was uh, one called Springtime. That was just a big, big old mess of springs. Hello. Please tell me those pellets move. Yep, they move. Meet me down here if you dare, Mario. Aw, oh, this would be an excellent idea for one of those steel cage matches. You just, like, drop in here and try to survive. And also try not to fall through the floor. Okay. This one's good. This is, like, an actually, like, good Undertale stage. I'm glad I found this one. Gee, I wonder why the Japanese posts are so much better than the Western ones. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Squid Kyboard. Funny thing, I was actually just looking up stuff about, uh... Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, the original, uh, manga series. Like, the first season of it on... The first season of the anime, and the beginnings in the manga. What in the world is that behind him? Yeah. Who did this? And why? What was the purpose? I'll never find out, as long as I live. If I can sneak inside, uh, Kyboard- Kyboard's collar! That's such a weird thing to say. Kyboard. Ooh, you can clip between the geometry here, too. Ooh, check it out! Well, I guess I'm stuck in here forever now. Thanks, Squ Skyboard. Ah, god, that one's weird. That one's real weird. What is this? This looks like a nightmare. Hi, Captain Clown, welcome to today's stream. I'm gonna be messing around with some of the custom stages here in Smash Brothers for a while. Then moving on to Blaster Master Zero. Two! What, what is this? Is it just a rotating cannon ball? Like a literal ball with cannons on it? Get me out of here. No, that was supposed to get me out. What is the purpose of this stage? It's just a death machine. It's, it is impossible to stay in a safe spot on this map. Wow. Can I tell you some of my stages in a minute? Oh yeah, go ahead. I'm kind of just faffing around today anyway. I'm happy to take suggestions from the chat. Well, let's just hang around here for a bit while uh, Mario suffers. For our amusement. Round and round he goes. Where he stops, I don't know. I can't even tell which one's me anymore. There I am. For some reason, the fact that they use, like, this default sky, uh, skylight, lifelight music is funny to me. I see a portal over in the top right. I wonder if I can, like, skadoodle my way over there. Nope. I see another one. I see another one. W where does it take me? Jesus Christ! There we go. Okay, so that's how you die. Oh, God, that was... <laughs> You're finishing up a stage, so when you're done, you can give me six of your stages, maybe seven. Yeah, all right. I'm down for that. Just a stage. Sleepy Kirby. Lethal Lava Land. Uh, pretty okay, pretty okay. Castle DDD, high ground. Wait a minute. Ooh, do we have a, do, do we have a prequel meme in here? I think we do.
No matter what you do in this second coming of the Meavers, you will never be able to escape the power of memes. Like, they're just gonna always be there. Good music, by the way. <laughs> you are my brother, Anakin! <laughs> okay, I don't quite see the purpose of that blob over to the left, but... Yeah, alright, alright. As meme stages go, this one's not too bad. Of an idea. Well, I will move on to a few stages of my own, and maybe I will modify some of them while we uh, prepare for... Oh, wait a minute. You don't go into the stage builder to play on the stages. No, you go into Smash. What's wrong with me? All right, yeah. Uh, this one is probably the one I'm most proud of so far. Just a very simple recreation of Green Hill Zone X3. It's got a Robotnik in the foreground. It's got a ball of death swinging from side to side. Oh, Isabel. Uh, I think I know how to play Isabel. Only problem is that you can't set spawn points yet. And believe me, I have tried to fix this by moving the ball around to a different starting position. No matter where I put it, people are gonna get hit by this thing. It's just nothing that can be done about it. Hey, Patu, get over here. I got a present for you. <laughs> can I make the thing move? Hang on. Oh, hang on a minute. Isabel's uh, fishing rod is a little bit different from what I thought. So you can reel it in, you can make it wiggle. Uh, somehow, I don't, I don't actually know how I did it. Okay, that's... That's one way to suck at the video game. The ball is a little bit oversized. Hope you don't mind too much. Oh, I thought I caught you! No, I am the one who's been caught. There we go. <laughs> Alright, how do I do the thing? With, uh... Hmm. Maybe she just does that automatically. I don't know. I can't, like, get a good view of the fishing bobber. Pit... Pitsu, what are you doing? Oh, he was going for the smash ball. The, the bootleg smash ball. I love how, despite how smart the AI can be in this game, they always fall for the fake smash ball. Oh! Yeah, I'm not taking this too seriously, am I? <laughs> That's how you win walk-off stages. That's why people usually don't like to play on them. If you want to make it that way, fine, but uh, don't expect it to be, like, favored by people who are in the mood for a good, like, competition. Come on. The balls are intersecting. I need that thing. There we go. How does this work again? Do I, like, trap him in a house or something? Get over here. You got nowhere to run. It's this or the ball! <laughs> so yeah, this is probably best played with just two players. This, uh, Robotnik stage. Uh, I could try making a bigger version with a more you know, detailed Robotnik, but I, I feel like this is good as is. You don't want to get too crazy when you're making these sorts of things. Alright, I made this one as well. It's not a lot of thought went into it. My only priority when I made this one was to be able to fight in midair. So let's see how well it works as a heavyweight. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. You know what, maybe I should have, like, made that big old death ball in the background actually, like, dangerous. When I was doing the tests with, uh, Mario, you know, I was able to calibrate the wind speed to his exact weight so that Mario, at least, and anyone as heavy as him, could just stay in the air forever. 
and you can do clever tricks to give yourself a little bit of air, like Mario can swing his cape to get uh, boosted back up. And just doing your neutral air attack resets your mid-air speed, which is something that I was unaware of, but thanks to this stage, we can now see that there is something very curious going on with the Ramblin' Evil Mushroom. Hello, I'll take that. Oh, dodged. How dare ya. Oh, I got you twice. How are you how are you still here? <laughs> ah, it's it's fun trying to pull off mid-air combos. I feel like this is good training for like practicing your mid-air combo abilities. Actually, no, I take that back. It's not very good for that at all. Because if you try and pull off combos in the regular game, it ain't gonna work too well. Because, of course, you know, gravity. No! <laughs> I was gonna try and send you flying with one final punch. I should calibrate the wind speed to Captain Falcon's weight. Because that's the only way you try and pull off a mid-air, like, Dragon Ball-style fight. Is with- Oh my god, he lived! Is with, uh, good old Captain Falcon. I was tempted to put in a teleporter as well. Oh, so close. So that you could, like, do that flash step thing that they always do. Oh, okay. If you miss a fully charged giant punch while falling at that speed, you are just bad at the game. Whoa. Oh! Did I get him? I didn't get him. Oh. <laughs> That's one way. That's one way to pull it off. Oh, uh, I can't laugh too much. I have done that who knows how many times with Marth. Oh yeah, the basketball stages are pretty cool too. I've seen a few of these in Miiverse. The idea is that you just try and either KO your opponent normally or try and get them into a quote-unquote hoop. Which in this case is a teleporter that leads to a death zone. So that's a pretty cool idea. I haven't actually tested it out all that much. I see you in the chat posting your uh, stage codes. Uh, I'm gonna go and go through a round like this uh, while you're posting those, and I'll check them out after this. All right, who am I gonna be this time? Simon versus the Bowser. Whoa! Okay, this is going to be no contest if the AI is dumb enough to just waltz into a portal like that. I guess they can't tell the difference between a good portal and a bad one. Or maybe they just don't even acknowledge that it's there. I don't know. There you go, there you go, that's how you do it. We're going to go three for three. Oh, good one. Uh-oh. Whoa, okay. Oh, if you jump up after you're clinging to a stage, that will happen. All right. Got to be careful of that. <laughs> oh, just in time. I uh, got some stage codes. Nice. Oh yeah, didn't I say I was going to do a number of things with the, the battles here? I was going to, like, up the CPU difficulty and also play as Joker. <laughs> At this rate, the only way I'm going to actually play as Joker is if I randomly land on him. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Alright. Let's check these out. 
We're going into the, into this completely blind, so I hope that you did not like <laughs> send a stage like uh, that climax one that Vinny played on. That was a laugh and a half, but also probably not something that you want to have uh, on your Twitch channel. All right, number one. What could it be? DS Plus Games. Oh! Kind of reminds me of the uh, DS uh, maps that were on the Mario Kart games. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you must be uh, familiar with the stage which I'm talking about. Oh, here we go. Some little DS cartridges. Uh-oh. They don't go in that way. It's gonna blow! Oh, they go... Oh, I see. What is the pattern here? Interesting. I want to see where this is going. Also, whoa! What is this? Is this like a... Uh... Wow. You got a lot of moving components here. I like that. Oh, hang on a minute. Am I going to be, like, muted for this? Oh, whatever. Who cares? If I'm muted for this, then I just won't archive this particular part of the stream. Surely not. Well, okay. You can't really say for sure. Because, like, there was that one stage on, what was it, PictoChat or something? That I ended up getting mute, uh, muted for. But... Who can tell? You'll never see it coming. That's uh, the purpose of the... <laughs> oh, I thought I got him. I thought I, like, cheeseballed Mario off the ledge there. Alright, the fact that I haven't just quit out of this yet means that it's okay. It's alright. I'm still, I'm still like, moving around with it. Still having a time. Uh, one thing I am curious about is how far away you end up if... Uh... Okay. So if you try really hard, you can get on these while they're way far away. This is probably... This is probably a good map to actually play on, provided that you and your friends, like, adhere to, like, an unwritten rule that you don't just chill out on the platforms all day while they're way, way away. No one gives rep to what makes the DS actually fun. What was that thing coming down in the middle? Was that, like, supposed to be a game screen? Or was that, like, a big old uh, Game Boy Advance cartridge? Anyway, I'll go ahead and give that a yeah. Joker... <laughs> <laughs> Joker vein. Okay, that's why there was Persona music. <laughs> what else we got here? Frrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Star Fox. Simple idea, simple name. Let's see how good it is. <laughs> Look at me, I'm doing like some kind of like stage peer review. Well, I tried to offer like constructive criticism on the previous guy, so let me see if I can do that again here. Oh. Uh, hang on a minute, what was up with that? What? Okay, that's probably just a quirk of the stage builder. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. You can only pass through these one way? Hang on a minute, that actually might be kind of cool if you can actually figure out how to exploit that. Uh, wait, what does this do? What does this button do? Oh, it triggers that thing! The, like, comet or something, right? Wait. Oh, wait, is the whole ship moving? I can't... I can't tell. I don't have, like, a... Okay, yes, the entire ship is moving. Not quite... Oh, I see, I see. It's like moving the blast zones. That's clever. I like that. Very interesting. My only suggestion here, of course, would be to add another switch on the other side to uh, add a little bit more control over it, but... Uh, or even add it, uh, like, just keep the one switch kind of in the middle. This is so bizarre. I'm trying to figure out how this, uh... wall thing works. Because this could... Oh, wow, you can just walk through it. You don't even have to jump. All right, I'm actually, I think I'm actually going to save this one so that I can, like, look at that and learn from it later. How exactly is this, like, a one-way wall? That's fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. It makes the shit move and stuff. Right. The switch is to dodge the sun? Ah. Well, even so, just having it move is uh, pretty interesting. I like this one. Let's see. Oops. Uh, what's the what's the next one on the list? I need I need to hurry up, otherwise these like uh, codes are gonna fly off the screen, <laughs> out of the chat window. It's fine if that happens. I'll just have to scroll back up and find them. Three meters. Game Boy Color. Super Smash Brothers. I see the Game Boy Color screen. Oh man, how long has it been since I've actually held a Game Boy Color? I don't even own the. I don't even own a Game Boy of any make anymore, except for like I don't know GBA SP. Does that count? Let's see here. Oh! Oh! I think I get it. So it's like uh, Mario. It's like an auto scroller. The question is, will it come back around? Hey, Mario! <laughs> I wonder what this thing is. Is this supposed to be a Koopa? Well, you make do with what you can get, I suppose. I want to, like, let the whole thing play out and see what else there is. Another clever idea, uh, making, like, a pseudo-auto-scroller by putting things on a really long path. You have a Game Boy Advance, two SPs, whoa! Whoa! Another interesting idea, a platform surrounded by... with ice in the middle and lava on both sides, so you have to be really careful if you actually want to land on it. And there's the flag! <laughs> it's basically a good mushroomy kingdom. Ah, <laughs> oh, you lost most of your retro collection. I know that feeling. I know that feeling well. I remember the day that I lost my Game Boy Advance collection, pretty much all of it. It was a sad day, but somehow I managed to hold on to some of my favorites. Including, uh, oh! The stage actually loops. Oh, I get it. Is it because it goes down on the bottom? Oh, that's clever. That's really clever. I like that. 
Well, now I now now you know, folks watching at home. This is how you make a pseudo auto scroller. Very nice. Kind of wish I could jump through this center platform, but that's okay. Yeah, this is this is a good this is a good proof of concept. Let's see. I think there was only like one or two left in the list. Let me see real quick. All right, just one more. Uh, 89W. Alright. Windows! <laughs> this ought to be good. You had that sh you had a shiny rare Charizard, but your mom- Oh! For, for some reason, when you said shiny rare Charizard, the first thing that came to my mind- Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. First thing that came to- Wait a minute, is, it, is that a jape ladder? I was trying to climb on that thing. Alright, it's fine. Uh, okay, so that's like... A scroll wheel, I think? Not a scroll wheel. What, what's the name of the stupid thing? Scroll bar, of course. That's what it's called. Or it could be something else. Hang on a minute. Is this supposed to be like... The uh, housing for the actual computer? And then this is like... I don't know, some kind of chassis? And then over here is the actual computer with the screen. Whoa! With the screen. And then you got like the Macintosh red, yellow, green buttons. Little cursor over here, little start menu. Uh, what? Wait, I've already lost track of what in the world I was trying to say. <laughs> it's just the PC? Right, right. I feel like if I look at this long enough, I will understand what the shape is. It almost looks like a gun. Like, am I- is it just me? It looks like, uh, a very pixelated gun from, like, uh, Moon Patrol, or- no wait, what was it called again? Alright, this- this stream is, like, devolving into me, like, forgetting the names of things and trying and failing to remember them. All right, interesting. Uh, I would say it's not your uh, best. I think my favorite among them all was the, uh... well, shoot. <laughs> my memory's a blank. I'm sorry, I had a really long day today. <laughs> so if my memory fails me, I apologize. Uh, but whatever it was, that was my favorite. We most certainly, that was a Nyan Cat. Wait, was that what was in your stage? Or was that like something that you saw in the, uh... In the in the stage menu. Oh, I completely forgot to check uh, on the number of. I forgot to check my yes because for some reason I care about that. Does anyone else just obsess over the number the number of likes that their like comments or whatever gets? I do that all the time. I will go back to like videos from weeks ago just to check and see how my little comment is doing. Dad, please don't. Oh my god. <laughs> it was in your stage? Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Downloaded from Smash World. Is that what this thing's called? Smash World? Wait, 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 wait. What is Smash World? Is that what this is? No, this is just called shared content. What, what is Smash World? Huh. If anyone knows what that is, please let me know. Alright, so, so... Oh, oh, here we go. Gave a yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah, right, right, right. The Star Fox stage and the uh, Nintendo DS stage. Uh, those were, those were cool. As was the Auto Scroller Mario Brothers thing. Those were all cool. Alright, so for those that don't know... This is how you find the things that you have posted to the sharing service. You go to search, go to details, and just scroll around until you see creator. And you can search for either your friends or yourself. So, right, uh, Robotnik has not gotten too many likes, but the Steel Ring 
which was, uh, as I said earlier, based on one of my favorite custom stages back in Brawl, has not gotten any attention so far, and that's too bad. I, I saw that GTA meme. It was there for a split second, but I saw it. Uh, the memes just never end. All right, let's actually try playing a uh, match on some of these. Oh, you can do a random uh, custom stage. That's good. That's good. Yeah, let's make things a bit more interesting. Let's add a few CPUs. Uh, yeah, sure. One mid, one max, one middle. That's the mobile app? Oh, Smash Bros. is the mobile app. Okay. So where have we ended up? Where is this? Is this the Wario stage? Oh, oh god. Oh god, the lag. I'm not even playing online. I, I don't think I could do this. <laughs> I was wondering why the, like, block limit was so low for multiple, uh, characters and stages, and now I understand. Apparently, too many moving parts creates a big, big problem as far as frame rate is concerned. Maybe things will even out once uh, a few characters get KO'd. Wait, how do you refill with Inkling? Oh, there we go. I, I do not know how to play Inkling. I cannot play Inkling to save my life. Get down here. Come on, get in there! I, I can't even focus on what I'm doing. The level 1 CPU will win because it's in the same Mario Party who is ever losing will win. Wait, what? The level 1 CPU will win because it's the same in Mario Party. Whoever is losing will win. But it never works. I guess we'll find out soon enough. I know I'm not gonna do too well. Oh god, this is so hard to look at. If any of you have, like, visual sensitivities, I would highly recommend looking away from the stream right now until until I say otherwise. Because this is... Oh, okay, there I go. I'm stuck in the teeth! I'm stuck in Wario's teeth! Jesus Christ, this is horrible! No! Oh! Yeah, I... This is... This is, ho this is painful to look at. I think I actually got someone. A oh, Bayonetta. The fact that she can do that, like... She, she's she got that extra aerial mobility that is really, uh... Perple oh, you got... You got the smash. You cheeky witch. Uh-oh. No! Oh, never mind, I'm fine. I have not even used Inklings, like, down special yet. I... I just don't know what to do. It's a weird character. I don't know what to do with her. Ugh! I deserve that. Am I dead? I'm dead. But now we watch the computer faff around for two minutes. They're not even trying to go for the mouth. Like, as far as they're concerned, it may not even... It may as well not even be there. I should have gotten a character with a better grab. Oh, Bayonetta almost went in, but got blown back out. Well, I guess while we're waiting for the round to end, I will explain my current rule set. Let's see if the level one CPU win. All right, we've got we've got bets taking. We've got take bettings. We'll see. So who's the level one? Is it Greninja? I think it might be Greninja. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, no, Greninja's out. 
And Bayonetta is soon to follow. Come on, Ike. We like Ike! He's like the only amiibo that I actually have. I should probably, like, make him a focus of the stream at some point. Not today, though. Eventually, I will try to, like, trade my Ike amiibo, but... Not anytime soon. Right, so you might notice that I have a stage, uh, a rule set called Walkie Walkie. It's a little bit weird. I'm not sure how I decided to do this. I like stock battles with a time limit. So that's what's happening here. But why I gave it that name is because of the items that appear. They are all items that move on their own. Game. Shush, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Well, Bayon Bayonetta wins. Good for her. <laughs> I do not remember which level she was. Was she the max level one or the min level? I think she was the level nine CPU. Well, so it goes. Where will we end up now? I should probably actually, like, select the stages so that we don't don't run the risk of duplicates. Corrin, interesting. The basketball stage. Well, this probably won't last long if the computer acts like they did before. Yep, down goes Falcon. And I almost followed. Yeah, there we go. That's how you play Smash Ball. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, this definitely won't last long. No, no! We can't double counter attack. What's going on here? Uh, I was gonna say more about Walkie Walkie, but I think I explained it pretty well. I felt like it was an interesting set of items that kept the thing kept the game interesting. You know, the items come to you, you don't come for the items. Especially ones like the Kuko, or the- Oh, Hanging onto a ledge didn't help me. Ugh. Didn't get him. Freezies as well. Uh, whoa, what's happening with the Freezy? It's stuck in the ground. Away with you, Falcon! You're not even- Oh, wow, I just now realized Peach was the first one to go down. And she was the level 9 CPU. Oh! That was amazing! Alright, Falcon, you've earned my respect. Now let us fight like men. Uh-oh. I, I might not win this one. I'm not that great with Corrin, I must admit. I like Fire Emblem... Fa well, I guess that was uh, inevitable. I'm gonna I'm gonna save a replay of this, if possible. How do you do that? How do you save a replay? There we go. Yeah, we'll make a video of that later. Because that was an amazing Falcon Punch. All right, let's see here. Uh, I thought I downloaded more than one of your stages, Captain Clown. Um, why am I not seeing them? Did I did I forget to download some of them? Like I wanted the I wanted to play on the Nintendo DS one. Maybe I just forgot. Let's see, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go back into our history. Yeah, did I not save this one? Oh, I feel dumb. Oh wait, that's not the DS one. Uh, I'm, I'm confusing myself. Did I forget to, no wait, there it is. Okay, I'm just blind. All right, sorry about that. You didn't have a chance of getting picked in the random pool because I forgot to actually download your stages. I'm sorry about that. Nope. 
No, all right. Well, to make up for that, I'm just going to go straight to the stages that I just downloaded. That, that, that was not, uh, that, that was not despite you, that was, uh, because it was a mistake. All right. Yeah, I really wanted to play around on the DS stage. It looked like fun. And CPUs probably are not smart enough to, you know, just kill time on the blocks when they're far away, so it'll probably be fine. Let's see how it goes. Lucas! I'm okay with Lucas. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go! Did we get any other Persona music besides uh, Persona 5? Because it would be fitting to have a stage based on a DS or a 3DS and be accompanied with, uh... Jeez, Samus, chill out. Persona Q music. Because that's like the only one that was actually on a, on a Nintendo console. Golly, this Samus just does not quit. Ow! Wasn't the song list only like seven or so? Yeah, there's no way we didn't get... There's no way we got Persona music that wasn't Persona 5. No! Oh no, I blew that one. Oh, that was in the background. It's not giant, it's just in the foreground. Let's see if I can be cheeky about this. Nope. Alright, I wasn't sure. I was curious to see if just standing on the block would end up dragging me into the blast zone or something. Whoa! 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 Sam is just gunning for me. No! Dang it. I wish he had a second chance with Lucas's recovery. Probably not going to win this one. Sure, thank you. Oh! There we go. I had a I had a feeling that would happen. Samus, I'm coming after you. You clearly are out for blood. I just now realized, you remember that screenshot I took on the Namek level of the mushroom floating in midair? Now I understand why, because it falls off characters' heads, and because of the wind current, it wasn't allowed to land. Yes! Get fucked, Samus! Oh, no, she's back. That would have been great if that had worked. Okay, meant, meant to do fire, but whatever. Golly, this Samus just does not quit. Uh, oh, jeez. How about 9 CPU Samus is scary? Just get out of here already. You have survived for way too long, Samus. Thank you, by the way, uh, for making the ledges grabbable. I cannot tell you how aggravating it is to have a custom stage in which you cannot grab the sides of the stage. Like, it's, it's forgivable for the moving blocks. Makes it a bit more challenging. You know, you can't just grab onto it and have an easy recovery. Man, I cannot stand stages where you can't even grab on the side. Back in Brawl, that was a big problem for stages that used a few too many of the ice blocks. Like, they would just make a whole floor out of ice. And not take into account the fact that it... Whoa! Not take into account the fact that it cannot be grabbed onto. I got voided. And this has been a decent challenge so far. And at this rate... Uh-oh. At this rate, the level 1 CPU is going to win. I'm not sure if I want that to happen. 
Oh my god, Samus, just get out of here already. Like, I don't even care if I go down. I just want to take Samus down with me. Ow! Last place. Oh, I, I see the tally in there for Persona songs. 11 Persona songs and still two Final Fantasy. I don't think the Final Fantasy issue is going to be corrected anytime soon. Yesterday someone gave you a 9.5 out of this, on this, because you can grab onto the games. And you're like, that's the point, but you understood. Uh, I see. Five, four, three, two, Wait, who, who's out there grading uh, custom levels? Did you, like, go to another streamer's channel and have them uh, give you a point score? Alright, good game, good game. Although probably Lucas was not the best choice for that, because PK Thunder can get interrupted like crazy by those moving games. That's right, uh, let's try Star Fox. Let's try Star Fox as the Star Fox crew. I am particular to Wolf, because I like the power characters a bit more than the speed characters. Fox, 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 you're up here. Uh, Falco, where are you at? There's Falco. Uh, we need a fourth Star Fox character. Ben. Slippy! Glad you could make it! Oh, wait a minute. How big is this stage? I didn't even think about that. Was this a bad idea to do this with four players? Oh, this was a very bad idea. I should have at least done it as, like, a team battle. Oh, this is not going to go well. Unless I, like, be a bit of a cheap asshole and take advantage of the fact that that's one way. Never mind! Oh! Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> this is not gonna end well. What is going on down there? What's happening to Falco? Holy shit! Holy shit, what's happening to Falco? Wait, what's the frame advance button again? Oh my god, he's just trapped in the hell zone. Look at him! <laughs> That's kind of amazing. Is he gonna, like, fall out from underneath the R-Wing? Like, because the whole thing's moving? Or is he just stuck in there forever? This is a question that needs to be answered with science. Oh, I'm big. Whoa! Okay, collision issues, ahoy! You were going to streamers and they were rating uh, stages based on their viewers. Alright, cool. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good idea. I'm not gonna, like, assign a score to this or anything. I just like playing on them. Fooling around. But, uh, that's cool that people are out there doing that. It's good to uh, get advice. And, uh, okay, another person is trapped in the R-Wing again. They're, they're trapped in the cockpit. <laughs> the, uh, issue seems to be with this tiny, tiny little gap right here. Like, I just saw the Ramblin' Mushroom uh, fall through the crack. I'm not sure if that's something that can be easily fixed. You may end up having to redraw the whole R-Wing if you want to fix that. I like when it gets so chaotic that the switch just ends up getting pressed. Regardless of what other people are doing. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to stop Falco here. Alright, now I'm stuck in hell. Get me out of here. Yeah, that's one way to knock the smash ball out of someone. Did I get it? I think I got it. But I can't use it. Because I'm trapped. <laughs> Help! Someone get me out of here! I can't even... I... Okay, okay. I'm resigned to my fate. I'll probably be trapped in here until that thing blows up. I'm still trapped in here! Holy shit! <laughs> this is kind of amazing if... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna drop the controller. Let's see if I can win. Or at the very least, like, draw this to a stalemate. Just by staying in the hell zone. Staying in the cockpit. This is terrific. 
I mean, oh, someone's in there with me. Falco's in there with me. Uh, maybe I should actually try attacking him or something. Oh! There I go. How to win 100% of the time. <laughs> well, take your bets. Who's gonna win? Greninja or Fox? The level 5 CPU or the level 1? No, no! Fox is gonna... No! no! <laughs> level 1 CPU wins! Uh, that was good. Uh, what was the last one? Oh yeah, Mario Brothers. Uh, well, yeah, I guess it would be only fitting to play as Mario characters. Mario! Such as, eh, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Let's see here, Falco, whoa. There we go. Let's have uh, Mario, Luigi, and uh, Worth Greninja. Let's go ahead and switch that over to. Oh, I don't know. Joker. See how well this works. That was where I told you. <laughs> you told me. Although, I don't think the level 1 CPU is here anymore, so. Hoobst will win. I'm still not ready to play Joker. He, he's too hes too quick and nimble for me. I can't keep up with his moves. Oh, wait a minute. Can't I, like... Yeah, let's try hiding out on the bottom and seeing what happens. Like, this is something that the CP will never figure out how to pull off, right? Just sneaking under the stage, seeing what happens. Oh, uh, Luigi's figured it out. He's coming for me. That was a bad play. I wish I could rewind time a little bit. Does Luigi's uh, suction thing, like, still hit you, even if it detaches? Because I could have sworn I took, like, I flinched and took some damage. When that thing landed on me. Whoa! Whoa! Joker's out of here. Luigi means business today. Whoa, okay. Okay, I guess this is where I'm going now. I'm, tr I'm trying to, like... Make a water and fire play, but it's too late. It's too late. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe not. Hang on a minute. Luigi, get over here. No! Dang it. Just use Mario stand the world? What? <laughs> Where did you even think to type that? Aren't there, like, a number of JoJo's references in uh, Persona 5? I remember reading about them. Sounds like a good time. Like, I do genuinely want to play Persona 5. It looks like a fantastic game that has everything I could possibly want. The only problem is that it's not for any console that I own. Nope. No, Luigi. Luigi, I'm home! You know what? As long as, like, people don't pay too much attention to the fact that this is an auto-scroller with, like, a square at the bottom... Uh, this this works really well having having this whole setup here. Although wait a minute, where's Luigi going? What's he gonna do with this newfound knowledge? Get up here, Joker! Whoa, whoa, we got a collision here. We got a collision here. I don't think this was intentional. I think you may have a problem with the stage uh, at about nearly three minutes in. So, oh boy. Oh boy, here it goes. It's all colliding. It doesn't know what to do with itself. Alright, if I don't want to stalemate, I need to KO Luigi. Yeah. Oh, 
All right, Joker's out of here. How has Luigi managed to hold on this long? Uh-oh. Oh, this could be bad. Maybe I want a stalemate after all. Because I don't know if I can... stay. Okay, stale... Ah, 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 run. That's the new plan. Just run and be a... Uh-oh. Oh, that was close. That's the point, for it to get mixed up so it becomes different. Okay. <laughs> that That's a very classic, it's not a bug, it's a feature, like, Bethesda excuse. But okay, I'll buy it. Now, when you approach the uh, five minute mark, that didn't hit him. I don't think that hit him. Ah, oh, the cannons give you invincibility, I think. <laughs> Good cannon. I guess it's all right as long as the stage doesn't become like completely stuck. Whoop. Stay away, Luigi. I'm gonna stall this out, mark my words. This has to be one of the worst fights I've streamed yet. I'm just running away like a coward, waiting for Luigi to, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, I blew it! I fucking blew it! I blew it big time. It's stalemate time. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's got a bigger grab than me. I have to be very... No! No! <laughs> His, his legs are longer, it's not fair. That yeah, Luigi, man. Alright. Let's see, what else was I gonna do? Uh, we're running... towards the, like, last part of the of our time here, so... Let's see... You know, I have to admit, I'm really curious how the AI behaves on this weird, like, square level. Uh, I don't know. Dr. Mario, whatever. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite ready for level, level 9 CPUs. Let's tone it down just a little bit and see what happens. Out of all the faces they could have used for Flowey in the background, that's probably one of the- Whoa, okay, okay, okay! I pick the stage knowing immediately what's gonna happen, and then I just forget and blow it. Yeah, come down here. This is where you're supposed to fight. Get down here! Whoa! I'm gonna regret those words, aren't I? Uh oh, I just realized, once you're down here... You've got a bit of a problem. Yep. Yep. Once you're down here, you can't get out. Unless you get launched out there or something. So beware if you decide to take the low route. There we go. Now I get to keep the high route. Uh, Meta Knight! Meta Knight! <laughs> God damn it. There we go. There we go, that... Uh-oh. We got another level that gets stuck. I don't think that's gonna come unstuck anytime soon. Ah, uh, that's too bad. This stage looks so cool and promising at first, but they clearly didn't test it beyond the first, like, minute of gameplay. No, Ike, you were supposed to hit the thing. How'd that happen? Oh, no. Wait. Okay, that, that was it. Hey, hey, hey! Cut that out, Meta Knight. That's it. You're out of here. You're not out of here. Oh my god, really? Come on, Piranha Plant can get a KO with a throw like that. Why can't my Gant Dr. Mario? His arms are not strong enough, I suppose. Oh! The backswing. I forgot that he could do that. Dang it. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I can survive over here, sure. Can't shoot my pills, though. Oh, boy. Yep, alright. Oh, I'm dead already. Oh, that sucks. Meta Knight, down two. Oh, hey, the pellets got unstuck. Alright, as long as they unstuck themselves eventually, I guess it's okay. Almost a KO. Because the AI doesn't know what to do with some of these custom stages. Oh god, one of you just get a kill already! I kind of wish that the walls behaved a little bit differently. Although I don't really know how. I don't know. One-way walls would be cool. Alright, all right. now this is getting somewhere. They're both on top, they both have a chance at a final smash. Which one's gonna get it? <laughs> he missed the landing and went for a pellet. And that's how it ends. Good. Alright, I think I'm done with custom stages for the time being. That was cool. Good, uh, good variety that we have here. Let's see, you know what I haven't done yet? I have not once played on the Persona stage. So, let's give Joker a try. Let's see what Mementos is like. Let's see here. I kind of like this one. Let's see what color it becomes. Alright, let's keep it simple. Let's just have like, uh. Joker. Joker versus, oh, I don't know. Pikachu. Pikachu. No, wait, even better. Even better. Uh. Shut, 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 Dog. No, I wanted, uh. There we go. That's the closest I can think of to Morgana right now. That I, I saw Dire Boar stream Persona 5. That's where all of my knowledge about this game comes from, for the time being. And I do remember how frustrating it was for so many people to be told, Oh, you don't want to do that today. You want to you wanna go to bed, uh, don't you, Joker? Love the sounds that thing makes. Hey, who's that in the background there? I actually don't know. I don't recognize that character. Okay, that's kind of cool. I can shoot the bomb in their hands with the gun. And get a Oh, that's brilliant. That's probably one of the cheesiest kills I've gotten so far. It's great. I love it. Oh. I gotta say, Joker's got a lot of lag on his smash attacks. I wonder if that changes with the assistance of Mr. Persona Man. Oh! Which one's real? There we go. <laughs> God, that thing! That finisher is just so goddamn cool. That game has so much, so much style. I hope I actually win, because the other thing that I really like about Joker's inclusion in here is the, uh, his victory animation. It is top notch. Like, I don't think anyone in any upcoming DLC is going to have a victory splash as stylish as Joker's. Like, it is just cool. There's no better word for it. It's just cool. Ah, that's one way you can build up your persona meter. Just stand there and absorb the chickens. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! 
I'm not making the most of my persona here. Oh boy. His victory screen changes if you win his Joker with his final smash. I heard about that. I, I guess we gotta give it a try, see if we can pull it off, because the streamers that I've seen playing with Joker so far have not been able to. I'm too used to Simon Belmont. I want to treat the uh, his gun as like a potent KO weapon, but it's not. Uh oh. Oh boy, oh boy, Mushroom is giving me some troubles. Alright, we have a chance, but we also have a Mushroom. Okay. I have to, I have to somehow keep this Persona as long as possible. Persona. Final Smash is what I meant to say. Let's add a bit of confusion to the mix. I want to see this happen. What I suspect will happen is that he will win with the Final Smash and then just immediately... Uh-oh. And then it'll just immediately transition to the uh, victory screen without any... without the announcer saying GAME! or anything like that. Uh, so if I'm remembering correctly, in order for his, like, final smash to be an instant kill, it has to be on an opponent that is over 100%, yes? So I have to not kill Toon Link until he's right there in the sweet spot. There we go. It's time! Yes! So it doesn't even leave that splash screen. It just stays there and w wiggles a little bit. Does something simple? Does something similar happen if you manage to pull off that kind of move in Persona 5? Dang, that's cool. All right, I see the request for a 1v1. Unfortunately, I don't think I have time for that. Uh, feel free to send, like, PM me your friend code, and we can give it a try another time, or even just, you know. If you're up to it, uh, like offline. Offline. Off stream is what I meant to say. Uh, you don't have to send it in the chat if you don't want to. You can just PM it to me. I'll be happy to add you to my friends list. Uh, for now, we do have another game to get to, so. Let's see. Yeah, I should probably move on to the next thing now, because, uh, I'm a little bit short on time. To answer your question, yes, if you win a random battle, it stays on that victory screen. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, Joker would be worth learning. Just so that you can pull off, you know, finish the match in style. I have heard talk, like I've heard rumors about some kind of like additional projects under development by the makers of Persona 5. One of which was called Persona 5 S, if I'm not mistaken. So, I have to wonder, is this perhaps a, like, teaser about a possible switch port of Persona 5? Because if so, that would make me super duper excited. I really want that to be the case. Alright, give me a minute. I need to go ahead and switch the stream info.